everyone and welcome back to another video from Homemaker. Friends, Calatheas or Stromanthes or Tenethes, this variety of plants are native to the tropics of Brazil and these are truly, truly tropical plants. Now you can see few varieties in front of you. This one is Stromanthe, Tenethe, Gresta, Calathea mequiana, Burle Maxi. So, and I have got two more, Tanethi Labarsiana, Tanethi Compact Star as well in my garden. I have made a separate video on both of them. I'll leave the link in the description box. Um, so friends, these plants are very well known for their amazingly beautiful foliage, the stunning colors, the bold colors and the uh, beautiful pattern. This one looks like a peacock. So that's why it's also known as peacock plant. And these plants are so eye-catching that as soon as you see them in the nursery you can't resist buying these plants that's what happened with me and that's why you are seeing all these varieties in here but these plants have got a reputation of being very fuzzy in terms of their care needs and their care routine and because of which people might uh, face some of the problems related to the foliage discoloration or you know the yellowing of the leaves or browning drooping curling and all that so in this video we will be talking about some of those problems and uh, what we can do to fix them so please stay with us till the end of this video so the first problem is yellowing of the leaves which can be caused uh, by improper watering. So either you might be overwatering your plant or you might be underwatering your plant. So if you are overwatering your plant, so because we all know that these plants are tropical plants, they love humidity, they love moisture, they're kind of thirsty plants, they like their soil to be moist all the time we end up over watering them we think that our oh, leaves are curling let's water the plant leaves are folding leaves are drooping let's water the plant or increase the humidity and we end up over watering them which can also cause a yellowing of the leaves or droopy or brown and you know even root rot so always water your plants when the top half of the soil dries out now calatheas or tenethes or stromanthes they do love water but keeping their soil soggy can be very dangerous for them so don't let them to be bone dry just when half of the soil half of the top soil dries out then you water your plant also overwatering. now even if you think that oh i'm not overwatering my plant but the soil stays wet for a very long time now that could be if your pot is very large so larger pot will contain more soil and more soil will absorb more water and if your plant is small small uh, it will not be able to absorb all that water uh, and that is one reason that the soil will remain wet for a long time another reason could be if you have kept your calatheas or tenethes or stromanthi in a low light condition so in the low light condition the plant will photosynthesize slowly and that is why it will take up the water slowly and which will leave the soil wet for a longer period of time so for that move your plant a little bit in the brighter area so that plant can photosynthesize quickly and the water will be absorbed quickly from the soil as well another reason could be that your plant your plant pot does not have got enough of drainage holes underneath so if the water is not able to uh, you know drain away from the uh, soil then also the soil will remain soaking wet which can cause the development of root rot in future if not treated so if any of these are the reason for uh, the soil remaining wet for a long time please check check it and then remove that reason and you will see the yellowing of the leaves or your plant recovering soon now if you are under watering your plant then you need to create a regular watering routine start watering your plant when the top half of the soil dries out don't leave them bone dry and also you can increase the humidity level to at least 50 percent so that the yellowing of the leaves does not happen because these plants do love moisture they do love humid conditions another reason could be aging of the lower leaves so it's like the natural phenomena of the plant to you know um, 
remove the lower or mature leaves and to give out new growth so if the lower one or two lower leaves are turning yellow you don't need to worry about that much just snip off those leaves and the plant will utilize that energy for the newer growth something like i have got one of the leaves which is this is the only leaf that has turned yellow in this plant rest of the plant looks happy so probably this leaf's lifespan has been finished so just snip that, snip that off and that's it so you don't need to worry much about it another reason could be the change stress now calatheas or tenethes or stromanthes these plants are very sensitive to any sort of change whether it's a reporting stress um, a change to the lighting condition or humidity or you know uh, watering conditions or care routine any sort of change um, these plants go into stress or you can say a sudden shock so whenever you are doing bringing any change to the plant routine or any care need just transition the plant slowly immediate change can cause the stress which can cause the yellowing of the leaves the next point would be over fertilization or under fertilization so if you are over fertilizing your plant the mineral build up or if you are using tap water and the tap water in your area is heavily mineralized then also the mineral salt build up in the soil can also cause the yellowing of the uh, leaves so you can use distilled water or rain water to water your calatheas or tenethes or stromanthes um, and if you are under fertilizing your plant then uh, you can uh, feed your plant with a complete liquid fertilizer during spring and summer season once monthly you can use a weak dilution of the fertilizer and then fertilize your plants the next problem is that the leaves of calatheas are curling up inwards or outwards so now this is one more uh, problem which can arise due to the watering improper watering now if you are under watering your plant then it is a normal tendency of the plant leaves to curl up to you know save the remaining moisture uh, in itself and that is one reason that the leaves they start curling up so just keep the soil moist but not soggy at the same time um, make sure that you do not overwater your plant but water them regularly also maintain the humidity the average room humidity as 50 percent so that uh, these plants are humidity loving plants so these plants will remain happy if the humidity level is high to increase the humidity level you can make use of a humidifier or a pre uh, traditional pebble tray method or you can keep your plants in a room which has got higher moisture level um, like bathrooms or laundry room or kitchen or any other room that you think has got um, more moisture level than the rest of the rooms you can keep these but if your plant has been staying wet for a long time then repot your plant while you are repotting just inspect the roots of the plant for any signs of root rot uh, place them in a fresh soil and this time make sure that you do not overwater your plant the third problem is that the calathea leaves are turning brown or the tips of the leaves are turning brown now this is one more problem that can arise due to improper watering so if you are under watering your plant as i mentioned earlier maintain a regular watering routine water your plant where the top soil top of half of the soil dries out and also maintain the humidity level in the room as 50 to 60 percent that is what these plants love a warm and humid condition also prolonged sun exposure can also cause the browning of the leaf tips so if you think that your plant is sitting for a very long time in direct or indirect light then just move your plant a little bit away from that source of light and make sure that the room temperature is maintained it's not very hot uh, which can cause the leaves to dry up and the tips to turn brown and crisp the third reason could be the mineral build up so if you have over fertilized your plant or you are using heavily mineralized tap water then the salts will get build up in the soil and which can cause mineral burn um, to the roots as well as you can see that effect on the uh, leaves as well so for that either you can use distilled water or you can use rain water to water your plants um, and flush all that salt away from the soil the next problem is calathea leaf pattern loss so 
these beautiful patterns on calatheas or tenethes or stromanthes can get lost if they are exposed to a very bright light for a very long time. Um, you will see that all these uh, beautiful patterns and variegations will go away. So for that, just make sure that your plant is not sitting in a very bright light for a very long time. Move it slightly away from the source of the window where you have kept your plant if you are seeing that the leaves are fading away. Also, keeping your plant in low light condition for a long time can also cause the variegations or the patterns on the leaves to fade away. And your, if in the low light condition, what will happen is that the leaves will revert back to a whole green. Like um, the Triostar, uh, you will see three different color patterns on the leaf. But if you keep it in a low light condition for a long time, you will see it reverting back to a whole green or more of the green color on the leaf and less of the variegations on it. So this can happen with the uh, stromanthi as well as the other uh, varieties of plants as well. So both you know, extremes, too much of light and too low of the light can cause the uh, variegations and patterns to fade away. Another reason could be under fertilization. So if your plant is not healthy, the soil does not have enough of nutrients to feed the plant, that will also affect the variegations on or the patterns on the leaf. So make sure you feed your plant with a complete liquid fertilizer once monthly during spring and summer season. Now these plants are not very heavy feeders and the roots of these plants are highly highly sensitive to uh, the minerals and the salts and all that stuff. So just make sure that you make a very weak dilution of the complete liquid fertilizer to feed your plants. The next problem is droopy leaves. Now, generally, these calatheas or stromanthes and tenethes, it's their natural, you know, nature uh, that the leaves move during the day. So during the day, they will droop down and during the night, they will raise up. So that is one reason why these plants are also known as prayer plants um, because just, you know, how they uh, close their arms when the night comes and they uh, sort of droop down when the day uh, during the daytime So if that is happening to your plant leaves, then you don't need to worry because it's their nature uh, To do that, but if you think that you can't see any of that You know going down and coming up of the leaves But your the leaves of your plant is staying droopy for a very long time then that is something you need to worry about. Like my Calathea mecoyana, this one, I have, I have for a very long time, I have not seen the leaves going up. It's in this position from a very long time. And I guess it could be an improper watering problem. Uh, so if you, uh, this usually happens if you have underwatered your plant. So you, as I mentioned earlier, just maintain a regular watering routine. Water your plant when the uh, top half of the soil dries out. Don't wait for the plant to get bone dry because it's going to drastically affect the health of your calatheas. You will see browning leaves, yellow leaves, unhealthy plant and the leaves sticking to the stem, something like this. If you can see the whole plant is sticking to the pot and all the leaves are sticking to the stem, something like that. So just make sure you maintain the regular watering routine and maintain the humidity. Also, sudden change of temperature like hot or cold drafts can also cause the droopy leaves. So maintain a constant room temperature between 25, 20, probably 22 to 26 degrees Celsius uh, would be fine for these plants. If the air is too dry and too hot, it can cause droopy or if it's too cold, that can also cause the curling of the leaves and uh, drooping of the leaves. So uh, just maintain that watering routine and the room temperature and your plants will be So friends, this was all about some of the problems of uh, calatheas, tenethes or stromanthes. If you have any problem with your house plant, uh, please do let us know by commenting in the comment section and we will get back to you as soon as possible. And we will see you next time with another exciting video. Till then, stay safe, happy gardening. Bye-bye.